So 42 looks like I want to take the derivative of natural log of something. So we need to know to take the natural log of x, you just do 1 over x. So if you're going to do the natural log of something else, it's going to be 1 over that something else. Okay. Do you see that connection, how I started that? Okay, but this had like an inside piece. It was natural log of all of that stuff. So chain rule says, all right, now you need to go back and take the derivative of this inside. So bring the power down, lower the power by one. And then, do you see how, like I took the square root of something, but do you see how that the something has an inside too? So you had to use the chain rule a second time. Um, oh, what are they called? I think st stacking dolls, have y'all ever seen? I think that's what they're called. Like the dolls that like you like open them and then there's another doll and then you open it and there's another doll. Sometimes people do that to talk about chain rule. Like, take a derivative, and if there's an inside, you get another derivative. And if there's still an inside, you get another derivative. Like, it just keeps unfolding sometimes. Um, okay, are you okay with all these pieces, where they came from? Okay, so technically that's the derivative, so then it just depends on how much simplifying you want to do. I'd say times two divided by two are gonna cancel. Uh, 1 times 1 times x is going to put me an x in the numerator. If I move this to the denominator, I've got a square root of x squared minus 9 times the square root of x squared minus 9. And what happens when we do square root of something times the square root of itself? All right, the same thing without the square roots, right? And so I'd probably stop there. I'd probably quit simplifying and start looking at my answers. So, does that match up with the answer key, or did they try to simplify more? That's like, like uh, your answer. That's what the answer is? Yes. Okay, I'm just double checking. <laughs>